mechanic always knows where his tools are. So an organized workspace is a must for the home improvement crowd. Joel Latham is a kind of at-home handyman who makes sure that everything has a place and there's a place for everything. His son, Lauren, hasn't found the secret to his dad's meticulous methods. In fact, Lauren hasn't found his house keys for the last 18 years. But he's about to find himself in trouble from which there may be no escape. The day had finally come. Our son, Lauren, was leaving for college in upstate New York. We were trying to be strong, but we were having a hard time letting go. After all, he was our only child. All right. Take the shot. Go over there, Dad. Okay, college man. And... We did have good reason to worry about Lauren. While our son was a very intelligent young man, he had one serious fault. He was extremely forgetful. <laughs> mm. Now... But you remember to pack your jacket. You know how cold it gets up there. Yes, Mom, I'll pack my jacket. Okay. Now, Mom, you know you're going to have to stop worrying about me, right? Okay. I'll yeah. be fine. Pop. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, so I'll call you guys when I get there. Okay. And we'll see you Thanksgiving, sweetie. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Even in this touching moment, we couldn't forget how absent-minded he was. Lauren, hold up a minute. You oh. forgot your toolbox, buddy. Oh, man, it was on the truck? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I can't believe I almost forgot it. Thanks, Bob. Are you as worried as I am? Yeah, but we've got to let go. I kept telling myself things would be all right, but... Lauren? Lauren! Lauren! Three months had passed since Lauren left for school, and I couldn't stop thinking about him. I knew I was going to miss him, but I didn't think it would be this hard. College was supposed to be a big adjustment for a student. I didn't realize how difficult it was for a parent. I guess I didn't know how truly connected I was to my son. coming it's coming I just wish Lauren was here to help me out with it oh. Joel honey I, I know you miss Lauren oh I, I miss him too but you've got to snap out of this blue funk I know I know I'm concerned about you I know, I know. and he does call almost every day yeah, but he's still over a thousand miles away. One cold winter's night, Lauren was coming back from a party and found himself driving on a deserted road. It was one of those times when it didn't pay to be absent-minded. In fact, the temperature had dipped dangerously low, and as usual, Lauren was not prepared. Oh, man, I should have brought a coat. It's got to be the carburetor. One quick adjustment, and I'm out of here. Oh, no. I can't believe this. I forgot my toolbox. No, no, not snow. It was the kind of night when people are found with extreme frostbite or even frozen to death. If only Lauren had remembered to keep a simple screwdriver in the car, he could have gotten it started. Dad? 
that? Sorry to call so late. Lauren, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just had a little, um, engine trouble. Well, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He just had car trouble. So, what happened? My mom, it was the weirdest thing. Well, first my car broke down, and I didn't have a screwdriver. And then, well, I was freezing out here, and I thought I saw this guy who looked just like Dad. He was fixing my carburetor. Is Dad there? Yes, he's right here. Do you, you want to talk with him? Oh, no, no, it's late. Um, just tell him I'll call him in the morning. And, Mom, tell Dad I love him, right? I love you, too, Mom. Okay, we, we love you, too, honey. Bye. Well, what happened? Was he all right? Well, I mean, what did he say? Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's going to call you in the morning. Oh, look at this. There's grease on the sheets. Did you wash up before you came to bed? Yeah, I took a shower. Didn't I? Joel. What's going on here? What's this doing here? Joel, you're not going to believe who Lauren thought helped him out there on the road. What's the explanation here? Did Lauren's father have an out-of-body experience that even he wasn't aware of? Or was the man who saved Lauren's life just a wandering good Samaritan who closely resembled the father? But then, how do you explain the grease and screwdriver in the father's bed? Is this story of the mysterious screwdriver inspired by an actual event or are we just screwing?